Okay, I have now received some eyepieces and I'm going to open it. So let's open and see. I guess it is a Teleview. Okay, now I've opened this part. Oh, this is another box inside. So I'm going to open this box also. So let's open and see what is inside. Oh, this is a big boy. Let me just take it out. Impressive. Let me remove this, put it away. Okay, this is this. Lovely. Okay, let's open and see what is inside. Oh, big boy and the little one. Okay, let's open this one and see what is inside. Let me remove it, put it here. And I'll put this aside. Let's go and look what is this one. Okay, let's see what is it. Teleview EP, I suppose is IPS Delos. Oh, table, Teleview Delos, 10 millimeter. This is one of the best uh, eyepieces that in the range of the Teleview. Uh, Ernest, which is a Russian expert and has a website in Russian, you can translate it with Google. I think it's called Astro Talk or Astronomy Talk. You can translate it with Google Chrome. I saw a link to it in the Cloudy Night American uh, website uh, forum uh, about astronomy Cloudy Night that they have given a link to that. And I looked at it and I has appraised this as a, one of the best. So let's see what is inside. Among the moment of truth. Oh, look at this. It's like new. Mm. That's the Delos instruction. Delos IPS instructions. So what I have now is a 10. Originally I know that this was only 6, 10 and 17.3. Now they have extended it. There is also 8. And uh, let's see what is inside here. Ooh, wow. Uh, this is the... Delos is the scaled down... Uh, Ethos, which is quite expensive. Ethos uh, is very expensive. If you want to buy it, it's around 700, 800 pounds. And when you buy it, you discover that uh, the eye placement and everything is not very good in a sense. But there are cheaper versions of it. First, Explore Scientific is cheaper, half the price of the Delos, Televute Delos. Then half of the price of the Explore Scientific 100 degree eyepieces is the APM. Then even cheaper than that, APM is the uh, uh, Skywatcher or OVL. Myriad eyepieces are better than that. The same, cheaper. Is uh, all made by the Comic United Optics of China. When they found that, oh, uh, uh, they can't sell it, but there is nobody that suggested to the Marcus Lutz in Germany and uh, another uh, company that look uh, we can you can put together your resources and we will make this for you and they invested in that and they came up with the apm eyepieces before that the skywatcher was doing it with the chinese company anyway makes it owns the uh, celestron and uh, they did really well on that and uh, teleview could not sell as much so they came down with the, with the delos which is has been told is the best in the range of the teleview eyepieces this is the best So, and if you want to know the field of view of this is a 100, uh, no, 72, sorry, 72 degrees. Ethos is 100 degrees. This bottom thing is so tight. Let me just open it. Okay, I've opened it. And uh, Delight, which is a scaled down version of this, is has a field of view of 62. So, uh, but Delight is equal. I've heard that people say Delight is equal almost to uh, some other eyepieces. Um, I forgot the name of it. This is competing with the um, Pentax XW and uh, Morpheus. In some ranges, Morpheus and the Pentax XW are better. This one is the best of the Delus. And Delus has a locking mechanism that you can actually... I will show you when, when I've taken a few photos. 
and it has a good eye placement, uh, good eye relief. Uh, it's not as uh, tricky as the Nagler, some of the Naglers. It's quite a nice eyepiece. I'm going to take it against the light and see how it looks. Let's see how it looks against the light. Yeah, eye relief is quite uh, big. You can see from a far distance. So big lens actually. So nice. Put it on the scale and see what's the weight of this compared to uh, something like a Nagler. Uh, 398. Three hundred ninety-eight, around four hundred grams. If I put the uh, caps, let's see how much. Four hundred seven. So that adds around nine grams to it. So not bad. It's manageable for any telescope size. And so so far so good. So I will do a test of this. As usual, I just want to say that, um, like all the Teleview eyepieces, they make the rubber eye. Uh, eye guard from a plastic from a rubber which is quite oh it's coming off actually <laughs> yeah anyway uh, from a rubber which is uh, electrostatically uh, charged and it absorbs dust very easily Takashi doesn't do that Takashi LE range the rubber eye guard that they have doesn't absorb the dust so I wonder why they don't do it uh, with the Teleview and uh, similar eye pieces that they have of rubber eye guards that is the reason that many people go for the something like a pentax xw well anyway it came along it was quite cheap 150 so i bought it and uh, you can actually move this upward let me just do it and i will show you how it looks extend it like that it looks like that the eye lens goes recedes back inward and the length of the eyepiece is increased, so that's the way he will look. It will look. So I'm taking a few photos of this in this situation. So it remains to be seen in the daylight and nighttime how it looks, how it performs. So so far so good. And this is the field stop. How it looks, and you can actually tighten up the thing so it will not come down this uh, adjustable and you can loosen it up so it comes down easily put it up tighten it up like that and it stays so good features uh, a little bit gimmicky but uh, that's the way Teleview is uh, Japanese uh, Pentax XW I prefer that but this is cheap this was cheap for me and this is the best in the range. 10 millimeter is one of the best of the Delos. Let's see how the view looks through the Teleview Delos 10 millimeter eyepiece. This is the view with the Teleview Delos 10 millimeter in a cloudy day and you can see it's good there is a little bit uh, edge of the field uh, um, what do you call it as a ring of fire but other than that the field of view is really nice the image is clear I may later compare it with uh, another eyepiece 10 millimeter eyepiece that I have that was the view through the Teleview Delos 10 millimeter eyepiece.